Right, we've got a ship moving slowly north northeast, and uh, that means it's over there. So we're going to go and intercept it because you know that's what we're here for to intercept ships. Now let's slow down time a bit so I can plot his course. His course is fairly close to that. So we want to be somewhere in, in there. That'll do. Right. Oh, no, he's slightly off that course, but that's fine. Let's slow down a little bit more. Get the ruler back up. Replot. Compass. There we go. That looks much better. That's good. I'll have that. Now then, we will stop here. Then we'll put the scope back up. Go back to periscope depth and wait for him to come across. We've got him on sonar. Here he comes. We've got a visual. He's a bit further away than I anticipated, but that's all right. Let's go forward one third. And we will stop here. That looks good. Right, here he comes. That's good. There we go. Now let's see what we've got. Hold engine aft. Surface. Turn to course. Where's the course going? Over there. That's fine. Let's uh, reset the course to go sort of like that. So uh, when we get onto the surface, which is now, we're going to go to the forward anti-aircraft gun and we're going to start filling him full of high explosive rounds. And this shouldn't take too long at all. Probably going to be the last volley. Yes, it is. Good. Big explosion there. Oh. Bits flying off into the heavens. It would be funny if that landed on my submarine, but it won't. It's just going to go down there. Was that a life raft? I think it may have been. Anyway, he's snapped in half and dead, so that's fantastic. And we are already retained, of course. We're already at the right speed, so that's fine. Let's get rid of these things. And we haven't quite finished our patrol route yet, but by the time we get over here, we will have done. So uh, we're just going to continue, and um, then we're going to go south again. Right, well, we've just completed our, uh, our thing here, and uh, I've spotted this ship over here. Or rather, I haven't spotted it, but I've been told about it over here. It's going medium, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to steam over here, and uh, see if we can't try and find it. It was reported an hour ago, so what I'm going to try and do is uh, catch up with it down here somewhere. I'm going to go into roundabout where it's going to end up being and set a rough course for it. So we're pretty much going to follow where it's going and see if we can catch up. So yeah, let's uh, let's get on and try and find this guy. Okay, well um, we didn't find this guy. I stopped because I saw a convoy coming down here that was up there and I thought, well the other guy's going to be sort of close to that. But uh, apparently it wasn't. It must have changed course or something. But we've got another one coming up here, which is a, another medium speed ship. So it uh, should be a suitable replacement for the one that we couldn't find. So that's pretty much what his course is. I'm going to put in his range uh, around about there. And we're going to get into the correct area, which actually is not far off where I plotted for once. So that's nice. And we will stop right here. And we will put the scope up. Go to periscope range, or rather periscope depth. Here he comes, and that's actually really quite close. Okay, oh, that's not too bad. Right, getting a bit closer. And let's have a look-see. What have we got? We've got a large modern tanker. Hooray! I love large modern tankers. I really do. They are my favourite things in the whole world. Right. Large modern tanker. Fantastic. Range. Right there. Angle. Mm. There. And speed is going medium, so 9. Set. Position keeper. Forward torpedo. That looks about as close to perfect as I'm ever going to get. Well, sort of anyway. Let's put it a little bit further forward, like there. There we go. 
open this tube and fire it's away here we go it's on target it's looking good there's no way you can avoid it now it's going to hit him right in the middle yep yeah, it was good enough here and there he goes exploding breaking in half and all that jazz so there we go there's the end of a large modern tanker I do love large modern tankers so much so 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 much and he was worth exactly 10,000 tons that's rare you don't often get them being exactly 10,000 tons anyway uh, we no longer need uh, to have those or that and what kind of information do we have we've got a guy going fast there that's interesting um, we've got no other information at all right well what I think we're going to do is we're going to go over this way and hopefully we may find that other medium moving ship but uh, I'm not holding too much faith in that Can check we've got no islands here nope that looks pretty good then we're going to come back down here through the Karamata Strait like so go through the middle come back through the Jawa Sea up here and we're going to go between these islands here and then we're going to come back down here and down through here and back to Aussie Tralia there we go into Fremantle good okay that's what we're going to do let's go ahead and do it right we got some pack news um, it lagged a bit so it took me a while to get it stopped so I could do this but um, German garrison in Calais surrenders to allied troops so that is Calais 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 where was Calais up here Calais Boulogne or Bologna rather so we now have the uh, at least this section of France under control and Calais, the Calais garrison which means we've got that sort of area there so we are clearly taking over the northern part of France and we're going to start pushing back very shortly it is September the 30th 1944 so we are approaching the end of the war or at least the war in Europe the uh, the war in uh, in China and, uh, and Japan is going to go on for a little bit longer I think but um, we also have a large convoy over here apparently and uh, there's a couple of small convoys and small ships over there but that's way too far away to get to now so we're just going to continue going this way and hopefully we'll get something to sink otherwise we're just going home okay we've got reports of ships all over the place here um, we've got a medium one going across here a slow one going up there and a slow one going up there I don't think we're going to be able to get that slow one, but we may just get one of these two over here. So, I think the best place for us to try and intercept these guys is going to be... Is this the... No, that's not the nearest map marker. This one is, I think, over here. I think if we get over there, and then we stop here, and we wait, and... Um, I guess I'll uh, get back to you if we find anything. Right, well, um, someone sunk this ship down here, the slow-moving one. Someone got him. Don't know who got him. We've also got pack news. The Russians have entered Yugoslavia today. The race continues to Berlin. Okay, it's October 1st, 1944. Um, I really don't know where this medium-moving one is, but I do know that the slow-moving one was sort of from there to there. So the medium-moving one should be fairly close by now so I'm gonna set course like this and um, we're gonna go two-thirds and return to the course and uh, hopefully we'll find it on the way down otherwise we're not gonna find it now there is a medium moving ship over there which is probably gonna come down here so we may find that later on as well uh, we're not gonna find that one either because that's gone uh, we sunk that one but yeah I don't know who sunk this but I don't think I got credit for it. No, I didn't get credit for it, but it's a red ship. So, what that leads me to believe is that either there is a friendly task force or something down here, or there's another friendly submarine down here. Now, 
I've never seen evidence of any other uh, of any other friendly uh, friendly submarines, but that may be evidence for it. I don't know. Don't quote me or anything, but that's a suspicion. Anyway, we're going to go onwards and try and find something else to sink on the way home. Right. Well, we didn't find the ship up here. We uh, also didn't find the ship that was coming down here. Yes, we did. This is it. Came down here and turned down there. So we are going to go across here. Now I don't think we picked this up, I think this is a report. Yeah, that's a report. But uh, it's just come in just under an hour ago, or rather just over an hour ago possibly. So it's got to be fairly accurate. That's going to take us eight hours. Mm. No, that's not good enough. Let's go up to full speed and we will uh, try and intercept. So that's going to take us about an hour. There's a sunk ship right there. That could be it. It could have come across here and been sunk by someone else. Hmm. What is with all these ships just sinking right in front of me? Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the course more northwards. So if it's here, I'll find it. That's probably a plane. Yep, that's a plane. There we go. Duck the plane. That plane's not going to see us. Yeah, that must be the thing sunk right there. And that's another plane. Periscope, surface. Right, and there's more planes. Got to love night flights. Go away. So yeah, that ship is dead. That was uh, the reported one, and it's dead. So I don't know why people are reporting ships and then sinking them. That seems a bit pointless. But, um... Oh well, so that one got sunk by someone else, that got sunk by their own guys, and that one got sunk by someone else as well. Okay, well it's not looking good for us, is it? I could just drop into Sarabaya on the way back. I mean, I've got enough torpedoes. I've got five in the front, four in the back. I, I could go into Greece or, or Sarabaya. Just sort of, you know, use it as a place to waste my, uh, my leftover torpedoes on the way home. I may do that. I'll, I'll decide when I get closer. Right, I've decided. To hell with it. Why not? We're going to go in via Greece, I think. Not that I know how to pronounce that place, but... Uh, right. Delete up till there. Oh, damn it. No, that doesn't work. Uh, right. Well, let's select the one on the end then. That one. And delete all of that stuff. Right. Now then, where are we? Delete up to there. Good. And then we will go down here. Through here see if there's anything there, come back down this way and um, worry about the destroyer later that sounds like a plan uh, if you use all the torpedoes I'll just go back out the other way okay let's go right October 5th 1944 Canadian troops pushed into the Netherlands today so Canadians are now in the Netherlands which is good for them and good for the uh, Dutch and whatever the other Netherlands are called as well. So, we're now 16 miles out. I've seen no sign of destroyers or anything. I'm going to go to periscope depth now, because uh, we're way too close to be messing about on the surface. And let's go down, and what have we got here? It's a slow-moving gunboat by the looks of it. I don't particularly care about that. It can't do anything to me, so we're going to uh, ignore that one completely. We got any other ships here? Any ships in Greece? Doesn't seem like it. Let's see, Greece will be over here, won't it? What was that? I just want to just saw something there. Oh, well, whatever. Um, no, nope, looks like Greece is completely empty. Nothing there whatsoever. Uh, that's just sunlight. Not sunlight. Um, moonlight. Although well, technically, I suppose it is sunlight. So it's just sunlight bounced off the moon, but um, yeah, nothing there. So let's move on to Surabaya and see if we've got anything over here. Well, there's something there. There's two ships, three ships, four ships, five, six, seven, eight. None of them are moving. Nine. Okay. Oh, and ten. And none of them are moving. Stationary... Right, that's a warship, so that's a sub-chaser. 
Merchant, 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 merchants, gunboats and merchants. Let's see what these ones in front of us are. That looks weird. Um, oh right, that's a, that's a front-on view of a gunboat right there. Okay, so that's a medium European. Um, don't know what that is. Whoa, what the hell was that? Depth under kill, 59 foot. What the hell was that noise? Did we just like hit a rock or something? That was just a massive clang. What the hell was it? Did any damage? No, no damage. Our gun crews are healed. Um, what the hell was that noise? Alright, I don't know. Never mind. Alright, another ship spotted. Where? Don't know. Right. Okay, let's take another look at these ships then. Uh, right, there's the gunboat. Next one is... There's something there. Is that a large modern tanker? Yes, it is. Let's get out the book. Large modern tanker. Mark that in. Now there's another one over here, isn't there? Could have sworn there was another one over here. No, that's the gunboat. Okay, so, so large modern tanker. Medium European freighter. Composite freighter, of course. There we go. Uh, that's a sub chaser really don't know what they are. I think that one, I think that is a large modern composite. I think. Possibly. Yeah, that looks like a large modern composite. Uh, anything over there? Not that I can see. Nope, nope, nope. So, that one, don't know. There's supposed to be one over there somewhere as well. Ah, old engine aft over there. Small old engine aft. Okay. Right, is that all of them marked in? Possibly. Let's have a look. Let's stop. Okay, so we've got unknown over there. Large modern tanker. Okay, so there is one that's uh, over here somewhere. Is that it? No. It's apparently a ship up there. There's a ship right there. But I can't see it. It's too dark. I have no clue what that is. Um, morning's not going to be here for a long time yet. Mm, I really don't know. If I could see the mast, I'd know if it was an old engine aft or not. But I can't. All I can see is the flag. Um, I'm going to cheat because that's evil. I'm not going to wait all night just to find out what one ship is. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Yep, old engine aft. Thought it was. But I didn't think it was, but I had a suspicion that it was. So there we go. Don't want that one. We do want this one. So, okay. Range. There. Angle. there speed is nothing no speed nada uh, let's see target computer can I shoot it from the rear no okay open tube 5 and I know what these are like in harbor so 4 and 2 fire 2 there fire 4 there and fire 3 at the back there we go, like that. Okay. And I'm going to go to external camera for this because this is going to be quite impressive. So, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? There it is. Here's the large modern tanker. Yep, that's definitely a large modern tanker. Only a bit of lag here, but oh well, never mind, we'll deal with it. I'm going to look from this side. 
Here we go. Torpedo is approaching. In fact, no, we are going to go the other side. There's the first impact. There's the second impact. And there's the third one. That should be enough. Yep, there we go. Now, I don't know why when they're on the ocean they take one torpedo and when they're in dock they take three. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You would have thought that no matter where they were they would take the same amount of damage. But no, no, they do have some kind of mystical ability that makes them harder to kill when they're docked somewhere. Bizarre, but that's the way it is. Okay, so what do we have here? We had a medium European, unknown... Uh, large composites, old engine aft, a sub chaser. Okay, so we want the uh, medium European, which is right there. We'll lock this one. Open two and one. Range there. Angle almost 90 degrees, not quite. Speed zero. So, yeah, we'll put one there and we'll put tube two towards the rear, like so. Here go the torpedoes. And we'll have torpedo cam for this one once it comes up. There we go. Impact camera. Those torpedoes speeding towards their targets. And there's the first impact. And there's the second one. Very nice. Got a fire on board two big nice holes in the side of the ship that's a big fire that's got to be the end for that one surely it's definitely dipping very low at the back question is if it's going to continue I think it is yep yep there we go oh an explosion too there we go enemy unit destroyed very nice okay so now what we've got over here that's what I think is a large modern composite. However, I only have uh, rear torpedoes left. So, we're going to go straight through the middle. We're going to go two thirds. And uh, hopefully, there isn't a destroyer on the other side. So let's keep going through. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And stop here. Slow down. And as we're going through, I want to see what these are on either side of me. So... Uh, not quite sure. Right, that was what I thought it was. That's good. Now, what was this one? Medium something? That's the wrong button. Uh, let's see. I think... That could be a large odd split. Uh, possibly... No, it doesn't have the... the, uh, funnels on the back. Could be a medium then. Medium old split. No, because the the beams are wrong. Small old split. Yeah. Oh, actually, it could be a large. It has got funnels on the back. But I think that's a small. I'm gonna go with small. But you know, I will, I will take that as well. How many torpedoes do I have in the back? Four. Okay. Well, first things first is we're going to sink the one on the right hand side. I'm going to go forward because I'm still too far, or oh, rather too close to that. There we go. That's looking good. And let's stop there. Once we come to a stop, like now, we will go and uh, do the rim. I'm just going to check that's not the destroyer coming. It's not. If I say the destroyer, I don't know if there is one or not, but I'm expecting there to be one because there usually is at Cerebiah. Okay, so this one is the one that I'm going to target first. Did I just see something? Uh, I was oh, something shooting at me. What's shooting at me? Is it this guy? Probably. Either way, shooting at me is not going to do one jot of difference. So, let's get a range right there. Angle there. Speed, of course, of nothing open up tube 10 and tube 8. I'm sure I'm going to need at least two for this one. Um, and apparently I'm too close for it. So let's turn right. Go one third forward. That's looking better. 
And now we'll turn left. There we go. And straighten up there and stop. And get a new solution once we've stopped. Two, one, and any time now would be great. One, still, slow down, stop, please. There we go, zero. Right, ship spotted, short range, that's fine. It's probably like right here. Where is that sub chaser? There it is. There's a sub chaser. That's the guy that doesn't like me, but he can't do anything about it, so sucks to be you. Uh, no, nope. Okay, right. Lock this one. Let's get a new range. And that beeping is going to be very annoying. Right. There we go. Actually, yeah, I'll go for that. There we go, and... Don't particularly need that. Uh, we'll put one there. Fire ten there, and eight will go. Go away, stopwatch. Eight will go there. There we go. Right, neither of them is spinning. Let's have torpedo cam and contact camera. Here we go. That's going very far back, considering how far forward I tried to put that one. So I'm concerned the other one's actually going to miss. Uh, where is the other one? Should be coming shortly. Ah, there we go. Good. We've got another impact. Is that going to be enough? I would hope it would be, but it uh, doesn't appear to be. So, I'm just going to take a quick look at it. Is that going to go down? It looks like it is, but it is not, which is lovely. Okay, well, we'll just have to shoot it again then. Right, here we go, and we'll fire this one further forward to make sure that it hits. Fire. There we go. Contact camera. And that was practically on the deck, so that's got to be a, a, a nice one there. It's got it set on fire. I don't particularly want to use my last torpedo on the same ship, so it'd be nice if it sunk. It should sink. Oh, it's exploding, so that's good enough. Right. Okay. Well, I have one torpedo left. I'm very tempted to fire it at the sub-chaser, but um, I think this small old split is going to get it instead. So, uh, let's reverse. Yeah, there we go, reverse, keep reversing, keep reversing, keep reversing. That's good. We will stop. Wait until we are stopped, which could take a while. There we go. And now we want to go and look at... Uh, not that one. No, definitely not that one. Uh, this one. It's over there. That's the sunk European. Okay, lock that one. We've got one torpedo to do this with, so let's make it a good one, shall we, lads? Uh, that's the range. Angle is like that. Speed is nothing, so we've got no excuse not to hit it. Just a question of if we can destroy it or not. So I'm going to put it right in the middle, hopefully. Oh, and we hit the other ship. Oh, no. No, no, no. Where is it? Huh? Where is it? There. We hit this ship with that torpedo. Oh, well. You can't win them all. Alright, I'm fine with that. Alright, let's go two-thirds. And should I turn back first? How much juice do we have? Oh, we got loads of juice. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to turn back. And we're going to go over this way. And get rid of that. Let's make sure we aren't going to run into any wreckage. Uh, now we should turn around that. That'll be fine. We'll go up here and we'll go back out the way we came in because there was not a destroyer guard up here. So we'll go up over this way and out, down, through here, down here, through this little channel here and back to Australia. Fantastic. Okay, so there we go, like that. So, let's get onwards and just make sure we don't hit this ship here, return to course, and 
go, just to make sure we're going to not hit stuff, uh, which we probably are, unless I interfere right now, there we go, go straight there, yes, and then return to course again, there we go, and we're probably going to hit the plane at this rate, hmm, I wonder, if we ram a plane, who will take the most damage, me or it? I'm going to put the scope down and see who takes more damage from being rammed. Me or a ship? Uh, not ship, a uh, plane. I'm going to go up to 40 as well. So we should have the very top of the, uh, of the sub out of the water. Here we go. <laughs> we just shoved it out of the way. <laughs> oh, and it sunk. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, there goes their seaplane. I don't think we got credit for that. Did we get credit for that? No, we didn't get credit for that. But uh, that was funny. I wish I hadn't done that at like eight times speed, but never mind. It's now dead. So that was funny. Okay, uh, we're going to go back to Periscope Cap. But uh, that was good. How far is underfoot? Yeah, we're, we're fine. Okay, so that's how you can sink planes in harbours. Just uh, go up to 40 feet and ram them with your Periscope mast. They don't, you don't take any damage and they die. Don't get credit for it, but you know, it's funny. So do it. Well, we've got a ship over here going medium speed and we don't have any torpedoes. But we still have uh, deck gun shells, so uh, I'm going to go and try and intercept it. Um, I don't know where the hell it's gone. Alright, what's that? That's another ship on medium, okay. How far away are these guys? That one's 12 miles away, that one's 18 miles away. Uh, well, let's bump it up to flank and get sort of this kind of range maybe. Maybe a bit closer than this we want to be really. 7 miles, we can probably see it from here. Somewhere over here. No, I don't see it. Oh well, let's get a bit closer then. Let's go closer, closer, closer. That looks good. Oh, that's a friendly ship. Okay. Don't know where it is, but it's friendly apparently. I have no clue how my guys can tell that's a friendly ship from all the way over here. Because I can just about see it, let alone its flag. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I can't see its flag from here, definitely not. So, <laughs> my lookouts have eagle eyes, apparently. They're eagle eye action man. Right. Okay, well in that case, we're going to go down here and find out that this one is a friendly ship as well. It is! How lovely. Looks like we have a uh, an escort on the way home. Where are they? Somewhere over there. Somewhere over here. Oh, where the hell is it? It's supposed to be. Ah, there we go. Right there. I have no clue where it's from. But hey, it's a friendly, so um, we'll leave it be and we'll go home. We'll slow down too. Well, here we are. We're back at Fremantle. We're being pestered with all sorts of ship reports and stuff that we can crash into and etc 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 which I just don't care about so we're hammering the plus button so that we can get into dock a um, little bit concerned that we're going to crash into whatever that is in front of us right now it's going to be very close although if I zoom in it'll probably be like a million miles away no even if I zoom in it's pretty close let's, uh, let's have a look at this thing that we're about to crash into over there there it is it's a destroyer don't really want to crash into that and we won't but never mind oh, and it's a half moon how nice right then let's get into dock please please there we go refit I want my torpedoes I want to reload my torpedoes all of them thank you and we'll refit again fantastic and end patrol so we patrolled the South China Sea we sunk 19 merchant ships five warships for a grand total of 104,293 tons. 
where is all this tonnage coming from? That didn't feel like a very big tonnage patrol, but apparently it was. So, hmm, I guess I'm doing better than I thought I was. And we've got another Congressional Medal of Honor. Is that our 15th Congressional Medal of Honor, I think? I think that's the 15th one. Um, we really don't deserve that many Congressional Medals of Honor, really. If any of us were hoping for a large sea battle, they sure got it. The Japanese, always looking for the decisive battle to turn the fate of the war in the Pacific, have come out in force. The main Japanese force, comprising their most powerful and modern battleships, was meant to sneak through the St. Bernardino Strait and attack from the north our landing forces in the Gulf of Leyte. In a classic pincher maneuver, a second battleship force would engage our forces from the south, passing through the Surigao Strait. To cover up their approach, a decoy force of aircraft carriers and hybrid battleships would come from the north. It was hoped that the powerful U.S. fleet guarding the northern approach would pursue them and leave the way open for the Japanese battleships. In fact, their plan worked for the most part. After submarine and air attacks left the Central Force seemingly annihilated, the U.S. Third Fleet headed for the Northern Force. It did sink the four Japanese carriers and that fleet the next day, but the real danger had passed unnoticed in the South. The two pinchers had arrived in position, while the Southern one was smashed during the night through a classical torpedo and gun action the Central Force appeared almost intact, near the American landing beaches. There was little that could be done for the moment, but luck was with us. Faced with aggressive attacks by destroyers and aircraft that were taking off almost unarmed, and lacking accurate intelligence on what they were actually facing, the Japanese retreated after sinking only a couple of escort carriers. Unfortunate for them then, wasn't it? So it's now the 11th of October, 1944. We're back in Perth, Fremantle, Australia. Um, right, so we have stuff to do, I imagine. We have no no promotions, but we do have bronze and silver stars. So who's going to get bronze and silver stars? Whose turn is it? I think we will go for... Let's go for the control room. The control room uh, deserve their bronze stars. And silver stars will go to... Hmm... Where have we started? Right. Aft torpedo room. And after the aft torpedo room we will go for... Hmm... Let's go for the deck watch. They've done pretty well. With their eagle eyes. Wow, that's a really effective foregun. 0.96. Very nice. Okay, so we now have 90... Uh, 90? Uh, 69,000. 219 renown. Do we have any more deck guns? No. We've got JP listening gear. We've already got that. That's a hydrophone. And no available miscellaneous upgrades. Uh, full complement of Mark 23 torpedoes. Uh, we don't really want any of the other ones. As pointed out in a comment, uh, the QT torpedo Mark 27 would be very useful against destroyers, but we're doing fairly well against them anyway, so not really going to bother with that. Um, we got our 15th Congressional Medal of Honor. That's just ridiculous. And our grand total is... 1,577,286 tons. So we've hit 1.5 million tons, which is amazing. Um, I keep saying it's amazing, but it is. Um, that is by far and away my highest score ever. Um, it's not even close it, it's by a matter of factors is how much more than my highest score ever that is so um, yeah I'm really pleased with this so um, pretty much all of them are on 50,000 except a couple at the top which is good but not good enough so um, yeah that was episode 12 I think yeah episode 12 of the uh, Chronicles of the USS Baleo I hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back next time where we will be Going forward from the 11th of October 1944, we'll be trying to sink more ships and hopefully by the end of the war, if we have any luck as good as we've had so far, we may even hit 2 million. Um, I don't think we will, but it would be very nice if we did. Um, and hopefully we won't die. If we, if we die, we certainly won't. So um, yeah, come back next time and watch me try not to die and sink lots of Japanese ships.